ESCNI started this project, European Standards of Care for Newborn Health, because as ESCNI was founded, we recognized very early um, that newborn health is really different in the different countries. That means there is a huge inequality between East and West and North and South. And we recognized that, for example, family-centered care was not implemented in most of the countries in Europe. What is special about the European Standards of Care for Newborn Health project is the active collaboration between so many different stakeholders. Um, it's not just that there are different stakeholders, such as uh, professionals from different disciplines and parent representatives, but also that they come from such a, a large number of countries. So in the project we have more than 220 people from more than 35 countries and um, this covers uh, probably most of uh, geographical Europe. important project mainly because the parents are at the center of it and that therefore the baby is at the center of what we're trying to do and it's to get those very best outcomes for a long future um, that we're actually all working. This is really the first time that parents are included in such a big project of developing standards together. I think this is also a point that makes it so special. Parents may not be the medical experts, that's true, but they are experts by experience. They already know how, what it means to have a preterm baby. They know how the care was they received and they know what was good and not so good by their own experience. Knowing about the enormous inequalities between countries and also between units, hospital units within countries is very sad to me, not only as a, a mother, but also as a woman and as a European citizen. a true patient integrated uh, project and, and, and the parents are not here as just uh, providers of, of information, they're actually part of building the standards which is uh, quite unique for a pediatric uh, standards. Neonatology as a profession has a, always developed out of a very close relationship between doctors and nurses. There may be things that the nurses carry a greater expertise than the doctors, whilst the doctors have gone through a total different training than the nurses. And the fascinating thing about neonatology as a team is that we have to work closely together how we can transport these, stand these standards out to the community of the neonatologists worldwide. When I started, uh, families were not even allowed in the units. They could watch their babies through windows at some point in time. I've seen that change and I've seen the effects of changes and uh, it's fantastic.
understand that, 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 that the separation between mothers and children, um, perhaps also the fathers in this time, don't make the situation better. It's, it's just we have to understand that parents belong to their children and that hospital systems have to understand that they have to do everything to take the parents in. The really big question in the hospital was what, is, what we can do to help mothers and fathers to stay nearer and closer to the baby and getting better bonding in this situation. Sometimes of a baby who just is leaving the unit because sometimes they reach an age where they can just have a very small smile is an excellent moment. Very simply, it's an extremely enriching human experience every day working with babies, teens, parents, uh, on the bedside, it's uh, a very nice job, I would say, for every day. <laughs>